Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto 5. Last time we, uh... Yeah. Last time we, uh, basically... Met with the FIB, got... Had Agent Sanchez killed, and... Now we're gonna... Hopefully, this time, gonna finish the rest of the game. There we go. Let's go to Michael. And Hans and Bees. So yeah, let's start this mission. Buy a tuxedo at Hans and Bees to attend the meltdown. Man. That's from our I'll be at Ponzibe soon. Get, I've got, I've got a ride. You better get a badass tux. Let's see if he answers. Nope. This is James DeSantis' personal line. If you've received my resume by email and would like to discuss how my combination of street smarts and book knowledge can improve your business, please leave a message. Take as long as you like. Tuxedo, ten grand. Sounds about right. Okay. Sure, you come back. I paid this guy to drive us. Get in the back. Get in the limousine. Hey! A limo, Jim? Hey, girl. Really? The producer? Are you joking? Yeah, come man, on! A pain in my ass. The Oriental Theater Typical. on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get <laughs> back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm going to ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm going to get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E. N. T. Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere.
sorry about that. I was drinking water. So, yeah, let's do this. Come on. Pot, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo! Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick! <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey! Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Okay. Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. Save your family. You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family, dickhead. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. He's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Okay. Let's get there right now. Come on, Dad! Drive! I am driving. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy. You gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. Be careful, Dad. Daddy's home, you pricks. Oops. I should have shot him. Okay. <laughs> Daddy's home, you pricks. All right. Let's try this again. You're really making my skin crawl. Ah, one of them's in with Tracy. Stop it! Ah, ah, it's Ow! Are you okay? Are you all right, sweetie? Oh, oh, We're inside. Find them. Fuck oh them up. Okay, okay. You just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Building. No one leaves! Okay. Fire in the hole! Someone, give me cover! Stop 
yet. Stay put. Neither do I. Just keep calm. What the? Okay, that's not working out. And for some reason, all this performance seems really stilted. Like the acting, the action, and basically everything. I don't know why it feels still. Clear the house! All occupants! I don't know why Frag I feel out. so stilted. Not yet! They put! I don't like this, Michael! Neither do I! Just Stay keep calm! Finish them all! Get out of the way! Oh, Jesus! Still for some reason. I don't know if they really fucked up this last part. Like making You're it all on my stilted. property, asshole! You, you dick. Uh, it's be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm going to start shooting. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? <laughs> I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. <sighs> okay. I don't know why everything feels stilted. Let's, uh... Continue on. This game doesn't freeze. He came to my house, Lester. My house! There so I asked go. Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't sure on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. Uh, to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Alright. Okay. Go 
to the heist. The big score. So yeah, for some reason, uh, when Jimmy started rambling on in the limousine, the acting and the, and the action seemed stilted for some reason. That is until we cut to this scene of, of, uh, of uh, Michael saying they came after my family. I don't know what happened there, so I don't know if there was something wrong with the game or something. Or if they just, or if the creators just got lazy. And they just didn't put much of an effort in the acting in that last part or something. But either way. Okay. Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you. I'm gonna take care of this. Let's get to the heist and hopefully finish the game. So yeah, it's over with. in the strip club. Jeez. How you doing? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm needed right now. Folks. My boy Mike. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm cool see you. with all the G's. Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. <laughs> That's right! Floyd, you're funny. Okay. Let's go in here. Finally get to the... Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, all right, all right. Enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one: we hijack their armored cars, we take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. 
Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? You've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right. Uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so the... They were at the jewelry store and the bureau, and we ain't dead yet. Why is it not showing? Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Hey, I used them at the jewelry store, I used them at the bureau. I'll use them here. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Yeah. Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Where am I supposed to go? Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money honey, doesn't you matter when you're dead, Daddy! Word. Okay. Okay, there's a ton tunnel bore machine at a depot at, at East LS. Let's go. Let's get it. It's out in the yard. There, there are guys working there around the clock. And the guards as well. Try to get in and out without drawing attention to yourself. LOL. It's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will.
Don't you lay your hand on me. Yeah, prosecution rest, my fuckers. Here, get this baby modded up. Oh, yeah. All right. It's kid? just an online persona. Uh, it was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim, you're taking me up Phantom Canyon? In this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Okay, looks like Jimmy's being kidnapped. Front, okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um... That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! 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 Ow. Okay, we're back. Uh, come on, move, coyotes. And we're gonna hit... What's it say? Kill the kidnappers? Trash the kidnapper's car. Okay. So here we are, gonna take. That's go gotta be them! Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a hole! Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly! Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd? Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick! Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it? You can have your idiot son. Okay. Take Jimmy home. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. Do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look. He thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But... Hang on. All right. But... But I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, oh man! So jokes that aren't funny. 
No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again. Fuck! And again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier <laughs> than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes. And Shit! You moron! With its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its own. Enough! All right? E fucking enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. To be honest, I kind of troll on the internet, but I don't really go that far, like what Jimmy said and stuff. So yeah, I do kind of troll. All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. Alright. What's up? Parenting 101. Maybe this vehicle would be suitable. Okay, cool. Alright, this vehicle can be used as a getaway vehicle. And let's get this to the hand spray. The train, any locomotive and flatbed car will do. I'll sort. I've sourced a sky crane to do the. Sky crane to do the pickup. I'll just divert the train at Davis Quartz and, and call, call, call one of the others to fly. fly to deal, deal with any station workers as you see fit. It's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. Okay. Oh, I haven't forgot about the getaway vehicle. I'm doing it right now. Here for the magic touch? Yep. If you have any problems, you bring her back to me. That's good. Let's 
see, where can I find bulletproof tires? Is it at the wheels? There we are. Why did I miss that? This is the same stuff they use on armored cars, you know. Yes, I know. Alright, there we go. I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Do I have to park it perfectly? Eat the vehicle. Okay. Alright. Get away vehicle. set up and another high set up. Hey Les, getaway cars in the garage. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. Driller. Ah, shit. All right. You can't be here. Back up. You Fuck. can't be here. Hey, Back sorry. Up. I think I'll lose the top. Hang on a second. Okay, we're back. That Michael! Thing. Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with 
I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. Go to the parking lot. Okay. So... Uh, that didn't really take too long. But I'll cut it out anyway. The cops chasing me. So... Yeah. Got the driller. that whoever was guard driller mission time sneak thief I didn't get because I didn't sneak it sorry about that so what now all right Lester drills at the lot so, if we can just get a hold of the train, we'll be ready to hit it. Alright. Next up is the train. So, hang on a second. Move! Jesus. Move! Let's move! Ah! Alright, right here. Hey, so Trevor, I need your help. I'm taking down that train we need for the UD, and I'm short a pilot. Fine! I think Lester arranged for the chopper to be at my airstrip. I'll go get it. Cool. Let me know when you're there, and I'll be on a headset. You can pass and take the railroad. One. That's two. Hey, T, you there? I dealt with the guard. I'm about to flip the siding. And I'm still on the way to the chopper. Chill out. Change the siding thing. split. Well, good for you. I still ain't at this heli. Wait for a train to stop at the sightings. Very familiar to uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, what's it called? The Ballad of Gay Tony, where you're stealing one of the one of the cars, the train cars, for for a decoration 
for this one guy. Except this one's different. Come on. Nope. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Don't criticize me because I'll fuck you up. Whoever's wanting to criticize me that I can't fly for shit on the other end. Fuck you. Anyways. What exactly am I supposed to do? It just says pick up the freight engine. That's all it says. Come on, get up! Oh my god, this is annoying!
damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Video game logic for it to just slide in there like that. Pick up a flatbed carrot. What? Good God. I have to pick up more stuff? Jesus H. Christ. I was barely able to pick up the engine, but more stuff. Jesus. be the last one because this is annoying you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. Alright. Jesus H. Christ. Well, that's enough for me for one video. Ne next video will be hopefully me finishing the game. So I hopefully you liked the episode. Be sure to stay tuned, and I'll see you all next time. Patricia! Trevor! Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. Is he, uh, Martin? Is he treating you well? If you ever... You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia. I really miss... I have to go. 
Okay. Peace out, everybody.